Hello everyone! I am John Albert P. Sistoso, your teacher in Statistics and Probability. Before we proceed to lesson proper, let yourself be ready. Prepare ball pen and notebook, sit properly, and see to it that the area around you is clean and in order. In this activity, identify whether it is random variable or not random variable. Number one is the result of a chance event that you can measure or count. What is your answer? The answer is random variable. Number two, the probability of giving a lunch with apple and banana cake. What is your answer? The answer is not random variable. It is not random variable because it does not measure or count. Number three, the probability of getting number of heads after three flips of a fair coin. What is your answer? The answer is random variable because in this case it measure or count that is why it is random variable number four the probability of buying an iphone what is your answer the answer is not random variable it does not measure or count number five the probability of getting an even number in throwing a dice what is your answer the answer is random variable it does measure or count in this activity i'll show you a picture and tell me anything you see in the picture I should say, this is what you saw in the picture. Social distancing, wearing face mask, coronavirus, pandemic, safety health protocols, announcement, disseminations, obedient of the rules. At the end of the session, 80% of the students should be able to classify a random variable as discrete or continuous. From the activities to our objective, can you guess what is our topic in this video? Exactly! It's all about discrete and continuous random variable. So in this video lesson, we will discuss about discrete and continuous random variable. So ito yung dalawang klase ng random variable. So pag sinabi nating discrete random variable, a random variable that can take on a finite or countably infinite number of distinct values. O sa madaling sabi class, pag sinabi nating discrete, var discrete random variable, so countable siya o nabibilang. So, it is about uh, count data. So, uh, kadalasan, yung discrete random variable, it's about whole number. No, it's just a whole number. And then, uh, like for example, number of heads obtained when tossing a coin tries. So, that is an example of discrete random variable. Number of siblings a person has or the number of students present in a classroom at a given time. So, kayang bilangin, no? Or, uh, ibig sabihin, it's a data count. And then, anong pinagkaiba naman ng continuous random variable sa discrete random variable? So, tandaan, kapag random variable, it's a finite or countably infinite. Pag continuous random variable, 
a random variable that take an infinitely uncountable number of possible values, typically measurable quantities. So it's about what? Measured data. A random variable represent measured data. So kadalasan, uh, ito yung mga sinusukat, kinakount, like for example, uh, measured of weight, no? Measuring of weight, height, okay? O pagkuha ng time, the distance, amount. So, yan ay halimbawa ng continuous random variable. So, it's about measurable quantities. So, kagaya nga dito, sa halimbawa natin, the time of person can hold his or her breath. The height or weight of a person. The body temperature. Okay. So, I'll give you, uh, I think this is 15 items, no? 15 items, uh, activities, na kung saan pwede kayong sumabay, kumuha kayo ng notebook and pen, and then sabayan nyo ako para ma-practice kayo at ma-differentiate nyo yung discrete and continuous random variable. So, ma madali lang kasi itong lesson na to, no? I-classify lang natin. So, you are going to classify each random variable as discrete or continuous. So, bago tayo mag-start, I uh, invite... Er I invite you na magkaroon ng papel at ball pen and then try nyo muna kayo sumagot. Okay? So, for number one, score of a students in a quiz. Discrete ba yan or continuous? Yes, the answer is discrete. Wala naman siguro magbibigay ng uh, 2.5 or 2.25 na score. By the way, class, uh, isa din sa mga tinatandaan dito para madali nyo matandaan, kapag discrete, di whole number, and then kapag continuous, may range. Uh, possible na magkaroon siya ng decimal. Alright? Number two, how long students ate breakfast? How long students ate breakfast? The answer is continuous. So, I hope na nakadalawa na kayo or nakadalawang tama na kayo. For question number 3, time to finish running 100 meter. Time to finish running 100 meter. Yes, the answer is continuous. Kasi nga, di ba, ano siya, uh, it represent measured data. So, from the word time, so, kaya siya continuous. Question number four, amount of paint utilized in a building project. Amount of paint utilized in a building project. Yes, the answer is continuous. So, meron kang ano dito na amount, yung amount na word. Another, number five, the number of deaths per year attributed to lung cancer. The number of deaths per year attributed to lung cancer. Yes, the answer is discrete. Directions match column A to column B. Number one, the speed of a car. It talks about speed. The answer, continuous. Number two, the number of dropout in a school. It is countable. So, the answer is discrete. Number three, the number of voters favoring a candidate. This can also be counted. The answer, discrete. Number four, the time needed to finish the test. It, it talks about time. The answer, continuous. Number five, the number of eggs a hen lays. This is countable, so the answer is discrete. Because of the pandemic, Glendale and his friend Mylene kept on social distancing. Is the average distance for the past five days of the two friends 
a discrete or continuous random variable? Exactly, it is continuous random variable because it talks about distance. Both friends wear face masks wherever they go to avoid coronavirus. Is the number of face masks used in a month of the two friends a discrete or continuous random variable? Exactly, it is discrete random variable because it is countable. Our world today is experiencing a pandemic because of the COVID-19 virus. In a local setting, in Mati City, Davao Oriental per se, there had been reports of sudden increase on the affected individuals. Is the data for the past two months a discrete or continuous random variable? You are correct. It is discrete random variable because the data is countable. In this activity, here is the guided question. How we are going to classify a random variable if it is discrete or continuous random variable? Let us answer this question by filling in the Venn diagram. Directions. In a one-fourth sheet of paper, classify the following whether it is discrete or continuous random variable. Answer it honestly in five minutes. In a one-half crosswise, Give five examples of discrete random variable and five examples of continuous random variable. That would be all for now. Allow me to end this video with a quote. In the rush to get back to normal, use this time to decide which parts of normal are worth rushing back to. Dave Hollis Thank you and God bless.